Quakes are no common occurrence there, and no one knew what to expect. Oh, damn you, it was a big problem for the people up there, not so much the actual damage, there was no significant damage, but the fact that so many people were awakened because of the jolt. Joining us now, Bill Lafay. Uh, Bill Lafay. That's right. Bill Lafay, thanks for joining us this morning. Quickly, let me update the markets for you as they are now open uh, in London. We have the price of gold and silver. There you are. There you are. I appreciate that. Well, there is a hot new property in the celebrity business these days, and his name is William Perry of the Chicago Bears. He is a 304, 308-pound <laughs> defensive tackle. Tom Guess <laughs> has his story. <laughs> Let's find out if that winter thaw is continuing for much of the country. Here with the latest now is Flip Spiceland. It is indeed, Bella, throughout the midsection of the nation. You can see clear skies throughout this entire area from Texas all the way up through the Plain States. Now it's all okay. <laughs> Work, works better when we wear this. Besides creating trends through clothes, fashion designers... Let's try that again. Fashion designers also influence trends in makeup. Bad weather in Florida prevented the landing of the Space Shuttle Columbia this morning. NASA ground controllers gave Columbia crew the con co <laughs> They gave them the news. And Missouri's Richard Gephardt says a tax increase is inevitable. I think when the president really looks at all that and has the input of the Pentagon and Cap Weinberger, the Secretary of Defense, I think it's likely the president will be ready and willing and, and enthusiastic. Quiet! budget that includes some revenue increase. An American is among the 38 people who died in a hotel fire in New Delhi on Thursday. The fire happened at the Sid Hearth Continental Hotel. Everybody can come in and watch, but nobody wants to now. <laughs> more Day Watch right now. Here's Marianne and Bob. There is more Day Watch coming up, but uh, don't go away. <laughs> going to sit right here on us forever, aren't they? Yeah, get off us already, yeah. Well, we'll get you off for just a moment and tell you in Washington we're going to be talking to former Ambassador Richard Parker about the U.S. sanctions against Libya. It's still coming off the Great Lakes area, snow in the Poconos and the Catskills. Looks like I'm standing in a haze, you doesn't are, it? Let's yes. take a look now at our uh, yes. forecast weather map. The boat was 379 to 219 in support of her policies. Take one, muddy area. Israeli sure. Prime Minister oh, man, Shimon Peres met today now we're in, in Bonn with white. Chancellor hey. Helmut Kohl and other Western leaders. Nine. Maybe it'll get worse. There has been... Much talk Count of reform of these influx control Count or tax laws in South Africa. Has anything happened? Yes, uh, one Take thing it. that has been changed Take is oh. that the administration get that, get that of, of the courts Guys, uh, hold it. Take, take has been Lou is looking. improved. That is get to out. say, get out of there. Um, the get justice, get standard of justice get in the courts is higher than what we say in the reports. Get them out. But um, there is some. A bit of a pullback near the end of Wall Street's day today. Myron Candel is in New York now with all the details. Myron. Don, an amazing day on Wall Street today. Joining us now in Atlanta is Nizar Hamdoun, Iraq's ambassador to the United States. A trust fund for the children of the Sh Challenger crew has raised $3,000 so far. And is apparently aimed at supporters of Lebanese President Amin Jamal. Take, take, there you are. C5, Bernie, come on, pal. Last Friday, in his speech, elsewhere in Beirut, I should say, pardon me. The National Assembly of the Philippines will try again today to sort out the official canvas of the results from last Friday's presidential election. There were delays in yesterday's process. I'm sorry, I'm hearing myself back on the, here, down the satellite. Uh, I didn't realize that I was, uh, was on live. Let's go to the financial desk in New York and Myron Candell. Take him, track 12. Take him, take him. Don't, don't be waiting. He's up. He's ready. Cue him. Make him read. Do it. I didn't know oh. I was on the screen. He's on. A, an hour ago, the market... New York Mayor Ed Cutt sound on tape in your effect. smoking in public places in that city. He is proposing what he calls the toughest the anti-smoking laws Lee in the country. CNN's Lee Green reports from New York. Shit, get it in there. Get it in there. Roll it on the way. Roll it. Let me roll it playback. Track we'll have it in just a moment. Take. 
An what the fuck is going US on here? A1 bears no fucking resemblance to what the hell's going on. A2, the sound bites so. are back assward. How am I supposed to pull this shit off? Places. Jesus How Christ, you guys think it's a magic fucking wand? Box right one. Box right one. Oh, God. He's a cop pole on air one, slow and easy. Come on. Come on. Ready, three. And is off three. Three is up. Get off of that. And right off and keep going, keep going, keep going. Ready, key 14. Key 14. And my master, we're going early here. Roll. Can't win. And uh, we, of course, will continue to bring you live coverage. What, what is he doing? What are we doing? Here at Mayport in what are we doing? He's, he's already closed up. He's done. Now what are we going to do? Come on. That package is an eight. All right, give me some music. I'm done. I'm done. All right. We're all break. Oh, uh, Juan, what are you going? Zoom in there. Take it. It is generally considered the box. that Boston one, has more one, horses one. than Milwaukee the box. jockeying for their first victory Lord, in the series. There. A small but ferocious pit bull terrier attacked a 1,500-pound concrete pig Friday, and the pig lost. The pit bull was taking a stroll with its owner down a Boulder, Colorado street when it came across Slick, the pig. Slick is stationed outside a barbecue restaurant. It is hooked up to a recorder and greets people as they enter, presumably with an oink. <laughs> as soon as the pit bull heard the greeting, it went straight for Slick's throat, tearing its speaker to shreds. <laughs> By the time the restaurant's... <laughs> By the time the restaurant's <laughs> owner got outside, the pit bull and its owner were gone. That was what we were going to say, isn't it? A Mississippi <laughs> farmer, certainly in the news tonight, but not for any problems with the drought or cement pigs. You're looking pretty, pretty good as we oh look at God. it as of right now. A lot of clear skies <laughs> in the northern plains and in the west. Now here's a look at the forecast high temperatures for today. Box uh, the left to court. bring it on. Come on, two box the camera left. Gay rights groups and that left. have been working to appeal the law. Left. A Georgia law also left. makes certain uh, homosexual like acts occur. Well, left to even if performed bring in the box. Married couple. Consider fast yeah, food. Track Track This mic's not on. In Washington, it's one sound. Ralph Wingate will be joining me. He's not. He's not wearing it. Pardon me. I haven't done that in a long time. <laughs> Uh oh, Myron, are you there? You. Hello, Myron. Oh my God. Boy, I tell you that guy when he gets to work. Oh, there he is. There we are. What's going on today? We have the Dow. Hi, and welcome to what's left of good news. Tom and Terry have eloped and are on their way to Brazil. So join me and my new anchorman Gary Coleman and Larry Flint. Today we'll take a tape measure and stalk Tom Selleck's massive tallywhacker. There's only 11 more shopping days till the anniversary of John Kennedy's assassination. And our roving camera catches Nancy Reagan freebasing in the ladies' room. Those stories and more today, November 6, 1983. Excellent, excellent. Make no mistake, Bali residents us to become more sensitive to contributions black Americans have made to our country. Tonight, Mara Walensky is here to tell us about a part of history you might not have known blacks were involved in. Mara. Well, numerous groups are sponsoring a wide variety of projects in celebration of Black History Month. Well, as Mara Walensky would say, we're number one. 